So, I want to slam your guy. How do I do that? Okay, so which character are you slamming with? I want to use Caradon because he's my shark in the water. Yep. Um, okay, so slamming is very, very straightforward. And it always, well, mostly always starts with a run. Um, so you'll need to do your normal move. So, for example, what you want to try and do is you want to try and get one of your threat hexes touching my base, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, so you have got some options. If you imagine there's a kind of an imaginary line that goes through the base. So those front two and any sort of hexes in front of those are my front arc. And these ones behind me from kind of this one here are my rear arc. Now, if you can get in the rear arc, it gives you a bonus. So it's actually quite good to maneuver around. So that's why fast characters like Caradon are quite good because they are a bit more maneuverable. So I'll just explain. So let's take Spawn. I know you're not using Spawn. So if Spawn was here, that would be in my front arc, mm -hmm. as you can see here. If Spawn was round here, that would still count as in my front arc because all of Spawn's base isn't in the rear. To actually get to the rear, you've got to be all the way behind me like that. Mm -hmm. And you can see here, he's tickling him with his tentacles. So what you want to try and do is you've got the option there of, of kind of coming in the front or trying to get behind me and slam me from the rear. So I, I don't know if, well, what's your move? So uh, for Caradon, he's quite fast, so his movement is five. Okay, well, let, well, let's just do a normal slam. So you come into me and you can choose whether you want to uh, go at the front here or, or go where you want. Would you, would you always go from the closest put to closest point? No, you can, you can totally choose where you want. So uh, if I just grab Caradon for a second and remember where Frank is, you can come in like that, which is one hex. You can come in with two, uh, or you can even you know, come in here at the side like that. So the reason for choosing where you might want to slam me is because if you win, you can push most characters out of the way. So again, that's really, really key. You know, where, depending upon where they are in this uh, scoring zone, you might want to push them a certain direction. So that might dictate as well where you're gonna you attack. Might, is it also the fact that if you, you might wanna set up a, a secondary turn with, with somebody else, so you might want to leave some space for them to get into as well? Yeah, so, yeah. So if you came in the front here, you might not allow space for one of your other characters to get in, whereas if I came to here, there'd probably be a little more space for them to, to make that attack. Yeah, and actually that's a good question, Martin, because another thing that will happen is if you've got two players that have got uh, a threat hexes on me, I'd actually get a minus in my role for the second player. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing to bear in mind actually with the modifiers is, you know, remember what I said before, is that you have three dice, you stand there. The way the modifiers work, they either add or take away a dice. So for example, if I was slamming back, I'll talk about this in a minute, or dodging, I would lose a dice if I had another character. And if you was in the rear, I'd lose another dice mm -hmm. as well. Uh, some characters, uh, will gain a dice, so you'd always add an extra one. So you're never modifying your stats, you're modifying the amount of dice that you've got. Okay, so now do you want to come in and slam? Okay, so slamming is a strength test. So how many dice do you start with, Martin? Three. Great, and because you didn't start adjacent to me, it means you get a bonus dice. Now, because you've decided to slam in my front arc as the kind of uh, defending player, I've got two options. I can either dodge, which means I'll try and avoid the attack, or I can slam back. Um, now you may be wondering why don't you just always slam back. It's because some people have much better agility, which you use for dodging, than they do strength for slamming. It doesn't look the most agile. No, Brank is awful. <laughs> uh, 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 so Brank has an agility of five plus, which is pretty dire, uh, whereas he has a strength of three plus. Okay. So I think I'm going to slam you back. Okay. So you roll. Okay, so let's go through, actually let's go through your roll first to see what you've got. So you've got a six, a so five. So my strength is four, so I need a four plus. That's right, you need four plus. Yeah. So at the minute you've got two successes. You have got a six, which explodes. So I just re-roll one of these? Yeah, or you roll an extra dice, whatever. If you roll one, you misses. So it's still a miss. Still a miss. Have you got any abilities that would affect that roll? Uh, I've got a re-roll, so um, one of my abilities is called Bloodlust, and I can re-roll one dice when I make a slam. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's what I'll do. So one of these, just the other one, that yeah, was, yeah. A, was a failure. 
Oh, this is six. Hang on, and, this is getting tasty. And then I won't. I don't want to use that one because I jinxed it. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm getting a new one. And so that was a miss. So okay. I finished with three. So you've got three successes. Yeah. So you talked about one of your abilities there. On the front of the cards, they have their each player has their always on abilities. So that's stuff that they can pretty much always do. Now some of them will be affecting roles, like that one was. Some of them will be extra actions, um, like the spawn has got drag. Uh, Dozer has got something called Teleport. Um, Cynic Docker has got something called Push. So there'll be a mix of different things that you can do. So getting the most out of those abilities is kind of key to success, I would say. Okay, so now you've got three successes. I roll mine. Now I'm slamming back. I need a three plus. Ooh. So at the minute, I've got two with a six. Okay. That's good. Wow. It's gone exactly how we wanted because now we can show what happens when I lose. So I got two. You've got three. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I take damage. So what would normally happen is you look at the difference between the successes and the failures. So I've got two, you've got three. So I would take one damage token. Okay. Now, luckily for me, Brank has something called can't feel a thing, which is any time this player would receive a damage counter, they reduce the total number received by one. So in that case, I don't actually take any wounds. So Brank is really, really tough to shift. So you've got to get quite a few wounds so he's, on them. He's almost like your tank, isn't he? You yeah, Brank the tank. Brank the tank. Let's coin that phrase right now. <laughs> However, although you haven't uh, damaged me, what you do get to do is push me back. And the way pushing back works is you have to push me back directly into one of the hexes like that. So you've got the option of pushing me back as long as you leave a one hex gap between me and you. So where would you like to push me push. back? Right okay. like that. Now you've got the option of following up. Mm -hmm. So you can either stay where you are if you want, or if you're thinking maybe of slamming Brank again with another player, you might want to follow up and get stuck in. And again, you move into basically my vacated hex. So you, so where were you? You were there, weren't you, like yep. that? So actually, yeah, you could only move in like that to go into the vacated hex. So you see the tactics there, do you want to kind of move in and kind of make sure there's another threat hex on me? Or do you want to kind of stay back and potentially slam again to get the bonus? Mm -hmm. um, so that is how slamming works. Now, obviously, if you had come behind me and slammed in the back, I would only have been able to dodge. So not only would I have only been able to dodge with a five plus, I would have lost a dice as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a good tactical thing. If you're looking for strong characters like Brank, is normally get behind them and punch them in the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we've explained how slamming works. Next, we'll go on to ranged attacks.